Yo, what up everyone? Zonomar here coming at you with another YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about some news. Uh, a lot of new roster are being announced for NLCS. Uh, and I'm going to make a video probably on each of them. Giving you a little bit of my opinion and my thoughts about uh, the new roster. What I think it's going to be. This year it's super, super exciting for NLCS. Because obviously we're moving into a franchise system. So those uh, players have like year contract. Like they have like two, three years contract. Which is really uh unique to this year it wasn't like that players were moving in and out of teams every season every year uh so this is super super exciting to see this first video is about the clg roster guys uh something i thought it was interesting they have two big moves one is unfortunately afrimu is leaving the, the scene or uh he's being kicked out of the team i'm pretty sure he left because obviously i don't know why any team would get rid of afrimu uh afrimu being a legend uh one of the I think some some guy that was one of the best support for so many years in North America. Um, I love his uh, duo and his synergy with Double Lift, but fortunately we couldn't see it for the last like two to three years. So CLG guys, if you just as a quick reminder, they are third in the NLCS last year in uh, playoffs, uh, below Immortals and TSM number one. And they were third in the regular season, I think, with like 12 wins and 6 losses or something like that. Um, so, good overall season. But obviously, now those teams want to qualify for Worlds. Uh, the, this is the main thing, I guess. Like, they want to go to Worlds and this is what they want to win. So, I'm going to show you the screen a little bit uh, right now. And we're going to look at this. So, let me just make it pretty for you. Um, and... That's it. So introducing the 2018 roster. So we can see some faces that we know. I recognize Bio Frost. I recognize uh, Sting Say. I recognize Huhi. I recognize Darshan. And this guy is Rainover. I actually didn't know what he looked like. So Bio Frost from TSM guys, who was the support for Double Lift, uh, Double Lift that actually got kicked out of TSM. We'll talk about that on another video. Make sure to subscribe, guys. And Rainover coming from Team Liquid. So super interesting uh, lineup. I'm really a fan of. Of Biofrost, Biofrost. I made a video. It's one of my. It's the most disliked video on my on my YouTube channel, uh, and one of my most viewed. I think uh, because I when when Biofrost joined TSM, I was just not convinced of the pick. I just I was like, we don't know anything about this guy. Um, like he doesn't have a story. Uh, this is pretty much his first step into professional League of Legends, and I, I was not convinced. And people were like, "Yo, how the fuck can you say that?" Blah 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 blah. At the end of the day, he ended up doing great, which is super cool, I think, because it must have been really stressful for him coming from Korea, coming to the U.S. to play League of Legends. Uh, so, Bifrost really installed himself into like a good support. Like he's one of the top support in NA, uh, and he's gonna play with Stinkse. I'm not a fan of Stinkse, to be honest. I don't think he's a great ADC. Uh, he did perform well all throughout the year, but it is not something... It's, first of all, like he's going to have to learn how to play with Biofrost, which is a whole process. Like We know how it works. The best bot lanes are usually the buttons that play years and years with each other. Uh, Biofrost and Doublelift were like becoming a thing. We remember Doublelift and, um, and Aphromoo were like super good. Uh, in Korea, it's the same stuff. Uh, it's so, I don't know, I feel like it, it is a challenge. It's challenging, Biofrost can adapt, but again, he hasn't played with a lot of ADCs in the past. I mean, he played with Double Lift, that's pretty much it, right? And we'll see how he transitioned to a new game style, because Double Lift has a very unique gameplay, which is very aggressive, very mechanical, uh, very skill-oriented, right? Uh, Stinkse is more of like a shy player, like you won't see him making big moves, uh, he's very on expectation, like he's never he's never gonna surprise someone, I feel like this is what describes a bit, uh, Stinkse, he's a bit like sneaky for example at Cloud9, he's consistent with his performances, but he doesn't have that, that secret sauce that Double F has sometimes, and he's just like, everyone is like, the crowd goes crazy and shit. That just an element though, I'm pretty sure Stinkse and Bifrost can make it work, uh, yeah. So Huhi guys, a big uh, big fan of Huhi. I think he's a he's definitely someone that I would have kept as well in the roster. I just want to see what he's been playing um, recently because obviously it's super interesting to see like what uh, what he's been playing. I mean the thing is that the season is going to change by like a lot, right? So we're not going to see the same picks over and over and over. But yeah, I remember playing him like Talia, Oriana. So he's playing very. Like, he's fine. He's a meta player. He's a good player. He's usually a really good performing. I see his KDA all throughout. Uh, he is not a playmaker, I want to say. He's a little bit the stinksay of, like, mid lanes. Like, he's not a Bjergsen, 
but he's not Bjergsen tier. He's still good in the first half, maybe in the first third of ADC uh, of mid laners in America. But besides that, I don't think that's. I think that Siaji needs a stronger suit for the mid lane. Uh, not saying that Huey doesn't deserve his spot. Uh, all congrats to him to be here. But the thing is that yeah, if he's gonna, he needs to step up. Like he needs to, he needs to crash Bergson because Bergson is gonna be the best mid laner this year. The guy who can help him do that is the next guy we're gonna announce. It's Rainover. Rainover. Pff, I mean, this guy played everywhere now. Like this is not his first team. I think this is like his fourth LCS team in total. Um, super talented kid, honestly. Um, like what can I say about Rainover, guys? Like. He plays everything. Like he just he literally plays everything. He adapts to the meta. He he plays something else. He plays something outside the meta, inside the meta. He's just good at everything. He's like a Swiss knife. Uh, I'm I cannot picture him doing bad at an LCS. Probably like Team Liquid. His Team Liquid performances were not super good. But again, we come from a meta where like jungle had a huge impact. But if like the teammates were following and they were like some synergy and it was a huge team played game like this season this last season was the the season where you could not carry solo like you had to be formative with your team and build strategy and stuff this was the i think the season that was like with the most team play we've ever seen and i think like rainover shines when he can play as like a he can play like an aggressive jungle, for example. So I want to see that more. We'll see with the meta. We'll see all throughout the me the, the years and the weeks how the meta is going to explore and like how, what the meta is going to explore and how it's going to develop throughout the weeks, months, and seasons. And the last one, Darshan, which I think is the best top laner in uh, NA. Very talented guy. Super aggressive. Su amazing uh, champion pool. Off meta, on meta. Uh, I love when he plays Jax. I love when he plays Irelia. He doesn't play those too much, but when he plays Jax, which is one of his pocket picks, he's just so good. Like it's when I used to be a shotcaster and he entered CLG and he, his name was like Zion Spartan. If you guys remember, you're an OG. Shout out to you. But this guy was just making the top laner fun to shotcast. Like he made it fun to see and, and comment because he just played aggressive. He wanted to be the best and he could carry the game alone if he snowballed right. So definitely a huge playmaker that will balance out with like the fact that Stinkse and Huey aren't that much of a play playmakers. We'll see how it goes. Honestly, in general, in general, let's see. I want to see what they say actually. So, Darshan, Huey, and Stingsay will continue to fight for CLG on stage, and we're excited to have them compete for us in 2018. All three players are veterans, champions, and a core part of what had CLG uh, have made CLG so great these past few years. Omar, Omar, oh yeah, Omar got left. Omar got got moved back. Oh, he will move back to the CLG Academy team. He's one of the hardest working people and will continue to improve and develop as a player. We are proud to have him as a part of CLG. Okay, so let's talk about Omar Gad a little bit. Let's, I mean, I made a video about him that actually did pretty well uh, about who he is and what he plays just to discover him because he kind of came out of nowhere. I want to say that for a guy that entered team mid-season and that had to go to playoff and etc, etc, it was, it was like... It was impressive as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Like, this guy just entered like that. Because LCS is like the big chunk. Okay, it's like the big cake. L L LCS Academy or whatever is below. It's only like the little, like, Pringle of, like, chocolate on top on top of the, the cake. Or whatever, like a piece of fruit. Like, it's nothing, right? Like, it the level is high, but it's like nothing. Because this is not the experience of being a pro gamer. An experience of being a pro gamer... It's gaming house, gaming, 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 going to stage, looking at all the fans in front of you, and that's like what being a pro gamer is. I understand why CLG is putting him back on CLG Academy. I think it's a disappointment for him. I think I'm pretty sure he's sad about this, but whatever. I'm pretty sure he'll make it back or he'll get recruited by a better organization. Uh, or another organization. It doesn't have to be better. CLG is fine. But I get why Renova has a place in the in the main roster. Maybe Omar God could have been like a sub. But you don't want to sub in for a jungle. I don't think it makes sense at all. So I respect the decision. I'm kind of sad for Omar God. Like he, I think like he, he deserves the, the best. And he deserves definitely an LCS spot. For, for me at least. So those are speeches from Biofrost and Renova. I will link this page guys. If you want to see the video and shit. Uh, down below. So yeah, that's it overall, guys. 
I said everything I thought was good about this this roster and all the players. I don't think that this is a roster that will go to words or perform at words enough uh, because we don't. I'm not seeing enough. Uh, I want to see. I'm not seeing enough. European talents and Korean talents. They already have like two Koreans here, right? Ro I think this is again a roster that will perform in NA, but will not perform at Worlds. That's, that's the only bad thing I have to say about this announcement, is that this is not a team that wants to win Worlds. It's a team that want to dominate NA. Maybe as like a first step into like the coming back of CLG or like some type of shit, or like we're so tired of being number three or number two. Like we want to take our number one spot. This is a roster that can do it, that can beat TSN, that can be, that can be I mean, not Immortals, sorry Immortals, like, they're out, but whatever. Whatever team is going to be, like, 100 Thief or, like, up to gaming, this is definitely a roster that can do it. We have veterans, we have, like, people that play for years, for many, many uh, lineups uh, in different regions, etc. Can this roster make it to Word or make it far AdWords? I'm not a fan of it. I don't think so. The level of Korea and China is absolutely fucking insane. And this is not enough to step up. So it is a, a step forward. But, I mean, to reach out the words or the semifinals, the quarterfinals of words, like you need like a mountain, like a mountain forward to actually have an impact. So I like that. If you guys are a CLG fan, you must, you, you must be happy because honestly, they're going to they're gonna perform for sure uh, at, on this season, this first season of 2018. Um, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Are you guys a fan of Darshan, Rainover, who he Stingsay, Biofrost? Do you think that Biofrost is gonna uh, really bond with Stingsay and become one of the best bot lane in North America? Do you think that Hui is gonna step up and take on the monster Bjergsen? Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, whether you're a fan of CLG or not, uh, as an esports analyst, as a e lowly sports a viewer or whatever, I want to hear your opinion in the comment down below. I'll be here to answer. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. It really, really does help. I'll see you for the next one. I'll make a video about every single lineup. I'll see you for the next one, guys. Cheers.